I don't know what it is, but I think it just it just gave up. I guess the truck didn't like yesterday's little off-roading session. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a new video. I'm super stoked to be here. Today I'm going to tell you five things I dislike about my van. I just want to thank you guys for the big support you gave me. It's incredible. I'm super happy. I hope you guys like the video. I don't usually just talk about the van. Uh, what I love doing is uh, going exploring so the first thing that I dislike about my van is that I don't have any toilet. So that means that you gotta go outside when it's cold. You have to go to supermarket, to the stores, and it's just really inconvenient. When it's sunny outside and it's a great temperature, in the in the forest it's not that bad but when it's minus 20 degrees celsius yes it it's that bad it's that bad but just get used to it or you develop techniques one of them is when i have to pee in the night and i always go pee one time in the night and I don't want to leave my sleeping bag or leave all the heat that I made during the night. I just don't want to lose that heat. So I'm gonna have my mason jar, I'm gonna pin it and just throw it away to empty it for the morning. The second thing I dislike about my truck is the rust. It's got some serious rust issues because here in Canada they put a lot of salt on the road. It's an old car, it's a 2003, so the rust just kept going and going and going and going till this day. It's not dangerous, the frame is okay, it's intact, but what kills the car it's the rust it will attack the small pieces and you're just gonna have to change the big pieces because of it and i just can't deal with that it's very very annoying and when i bring it to my mechanic he's not very happy either it's just a mess working on these cars you have to heat every bolt because it's seized in rust and I usually pay more at the mechanics because they know the car and they're gonna have to charge more time. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's, uh, the rust is, uh, is bad. It's just missing pieces there. Maybe this one is gonna go. I don't know. The rust is killing it but that's all right another example is the rear the rear is very rusted as you can see it just it just not good for the car i just found out that this box right there i don't know what it is but i'm gonna need to fix this so that's a very good example of my car being rusted out and I... <laughs> so the third thing I dislike about my camper conversion is having no fan. So when I cook, it creates a lot of humidity. 
so the humidity is just kept in the car and that's very not good humidity and heat just don't go together it's very hard to heat a place that is very humid so what I usually do is I cook with the tailgate closed and I have a window in the tailgate so I just open the window a little bit the humidity is going out by the window but it's not that great of a system of a good fan that will eliminate completely the humidity and it's gonna push it outside also I use a lot of propane um, to cook and for my body heater uh, here that keeps me hot at night but propane creates humidity so I heat the van it's very good but the propane just puts humidity in the air and it's not helping a lot when I put it like only 15 or 20 minutes it's really good it's gonna eliminate some of the humidity but not completely but if I put it like 30-40 minutes uh, the windows just gonna be all frosty all in water it's not something you want so not having a fan uh, it's it's something I, I don't enjoy the fourth thing I dislike about my van is that is very very small it's in the back of an SUV I removed the back seat it's not very convenient either but for what I need it's perfect it's perfect for one person having two person I think it could be good one there and the other there to sleep but to cook you you have to be well organized one person is gonna cut there one person is gonna cook you cannot change clothes while one person is cooking it just not very convenient you have to be very organized when I enter the car I usually go by this door the other one I keep it closed so I enter the car like this I close the door as soon as I can because of the cold I untie my boots and I usually put it there the same thing when when I want to get out and this door is, uh, is giving me problems but it's all right <laughs> the fifth thing that I dislike about the car is that it's not insulated in summer it's okay I just leave the windows a little bit more open than I do in uh, winter you have a nice breeze but in winter you're just dying I usually have two base layer for my pants plus sweatpants and the same as my base layers for the top and sometimes I put an insulation coat too to have the maximum heat that I can have for the night because I don't sleep with my body heater on I just find it so dangerous maybe people do but I just don't want to find out I just don't want to have an incident because I wanted some more warmth so guys if you like the video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and leave a thumbs up Thank you so much and like always, be safe exploring!